Welcome Internet, this is another episode of how to create anything in Archicad and today I'd like to show you how you can create your very own custom facade or curtain wall panels. And to do this you can literally choose any 3D tool you can find in the toolbox of Archicad. You can draw a panel with walls, with columns, with slabs, with shells and also with morphs. You can also select a whole house if you have created one and say it should be a panel. Makes no sense, but it's possible, trust me. First of all, I'd like to sketch out the dimensions. So I'm into the polyline tool and I draw my facade panel, which should be, let's say, 75 centimeters by two and a half. And I will create a panel with a couple of holes in it. Very simple. So I draw some circles and then I switch to the morph tool because I think it's easiest to use the boolean operations which only work with morphs. You can also use the solid element operations which work with every tool but in this case I will draw everything in morphs. So I switch to the morph tool and then I hold down the spacebar uh, over the edges of the circles and I create a couple of morphs. And then I switch to the 3D perspective and I will give it some depth because right now it's only 2D, it's flat. And there's a, a little trick in case you don't know. If you want to select them all and um, push and pull all of them at once, you have to select them using the surface or clicking on the surface, not on the edge. You see this on the cursor, edge is the Mercedes star, a point is the hook and a surface is the magnet you can see on the cursor. Click on the first morph, hold down shift for selecting more stuff and make sure you always click on the surface. Otherwise, you will not be able to push and pull everything at once. Then I go into the pad palette and the first option is push and pull and I push and pull everything at once. Once I have selected them all, I can go to Boolean Operation Union. I have my own palette here, but in case you don't have this, right click anywhere, go to Boolean Operations Union. This is one big morph right now. I switch back to the ground floor and I go to the morph tool again, hold down the spacebar and create another morph. In this case, the big rectangle and I give it some depth. And then I choose intersect or subtract, no, not intersect, it's subtract. It's the next Boolean operation and I subtract this morph, the circles from that one should look something like this. Then I give it another surface override. Let's say something with wood, maybe walnut. And this should be my curtain wall panel. To have it as curtain wall panel, I need a, guess what, a curtain wall. So I draw one, it has the default settings here and um, doesn't look that good to be honest. Also, I'm at building plans. That's okay because I see the th three dimensional facade. Uh, in case you don't see this, maybe it looks something like this. You can go to the model view options and choose a higher level of detail. I'm in the default template right now, not in my very own custom template because I recognize there are too much German uh, names in it. And um, yeah, the default international Archicad version has these four LODs and building plans shows the whole depth. I go into the curtain wall setting and I change the scheme. So I will have something like 75 centimeters by two and a half because actually that's that's what I uh, created or that's the size of the panel here and I go into the panels it doesn't matter you can you can 
leave it like it is because um, we will change it anyways. And then it looks something like this. Maybe let's make this a little bit bigger. Say it's six meters or something. So we have a little bit more to see and I stretch the curtain wall. So as you can see, I just switched the material from aluminum to glass here because it looks better and it looks more like a curtain wall. And the question is, how do I get this inside here? It's pretty easy. You click on your facade panel or whatever it is. In this case, only one morph. Could be more morphs. It could be, like I said before, a whole building. You go to File, you go to Libraries and Objects, and there you have the point Safe Selection S, and there you'll find curtain wall caps, frames, and also panels. And Archicad wants to know, do you want to leave it in the current editing plane, which means the panel will lay on the ground, makes no sense in this case. If I would have drawn it in a section, it would have made sense, but in this case, I want to switch it to the horizontal plane, Continue and save, give it a very creative name like panel one. Save it, in this case I save it in the embedded library. We can, you can save it into your cloud library, wh wh whatever you like. And yes, the GSM, which is the Archicad object file format, the natural one, was created and it is available in the settings dialog box of the relevant object. Where do I find this setting? dialog box you click on the curtain wall you go to edit and you click on a panel or you can make a selection of panels and the dialog box is this the member type and the panel class so in the member type you don't go into the built-in cw panel you go to cw custom panels and you see it already has chosen my custom panel and um, yeah it looks something like this it has the same measurements this was smart uh, if it doesn't have the same measurements it automatically stretches the panel and it will look something like this so before you build or create your own panel you should have in mind how the measurements should be. You can create a curtain wall first, uh, first and then you can um, take the measurements of the scheme and create a curtain wall panel with the same measurements or vice versa. You once create a panel and you say, I'm satisfied with this and it looks good. Then you go into the scheme of your curtain wall and you change the measurements. All right. Um, in the next step, and I will skip it, you won't see me building this, I will build a three-dimensional, probably morph. And I also want this to be a panel in this curtain wall. Here we are again with another morph. As you can see, it has the same dimensions and I put a couple of points in it to give it more depth. You can see this here and gave it a little bit of color in this case it should remind you of Mondrian or Bauhaus maybe but it doesn't matter I just show you the principle and I already saved this panel with the name panel 2 but I will show you something you might get desperated with because when you have created more than one custom panel um, maybe in first place you're not sure how to switch so if I choose this standard glass here the standard panel and I choose the member type custom panel it always shows me the first one and yeah the trick which is not really a trick but in case you didn't know is um, you go into its settings control T and there you can switch curtain wall panel settings general settings panel name between the panels and i will have panel 2 here and it will look something like this 
and that's pretty much all I can show you um, as I said before you can also make a selection I can save this as a panel it will look horrible you can also choose a whole ensemble and uh, say it should be a curtain wall panel makes no sense and um, yeah that's all I can show you about custom curtain wall panels but there is more about the curtain wall left that I want to show you but you will see this in the next episode of how to create anything in Archicad and until then I hope you learned something new in the case you like this video give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below I'm always glad to read your comments in case you have some special wishes you want to see something in Archicad uh, or anything else uh, which has to deal with architecture write me an email info at creativehome.com have a great day stay creative bye bye